So if you're a guitar player, you probably know this feeling. This feeling that some guitar type just isn't for you. For me, I used to think it was Telecasters until I found this Telecaster. Now, ever since I've been putting out videos on Instagram with that Telecaster, some of the videos have gone viral. And strangely enough, more people than ever have been complimenting me on my sound and how special this kind of Tele sounds. So what is all the fuss about this Tele? Here's the sound and the story. So about five years ago, I was kind of stuck in a strange situation with my guitars. I had these two guitars, so a Les Paul and a Nick Hooper Surfmeister, and both of these guitars have humbuckers. And I wanted to extend my collection a little bit and have something with cymbal coins, ideally a Telecaster. My problem, however, was Everybody else sounded great with a Telecaster, and I loved when other people played Telecaster. The sound was just amazing, but whenever I picked up the Telecaster, there was always something that wasn't quite right. It was even the neck shape that felt kind of strange because it was too thick or too thin, or the guitar was unexplainably heavy. String tension was just all over the place. It was very uncomfortable to play sometimes. So I was kind of bummed out about this entire Telecaster thing because sound is great, but how come that I can't sound great or feel okay with playing a Telecaster? And so I thought, okay, maybe I just need to play a couple more. Maybe I need to play guitars at different price ranges. Maybe I need to just like expand my horizon, what's out there and play custom shops and top shelf USA series Fender and maybe Squires and all that stuff. And I did. I, for instance, played a wonderful Daphne Blue 1961 custom shop Telecaster that one of my friends wanted to sell. But I had it here, I had it on my lap, the neck was kind of sticky, the neck shape was kind of strange. It was just unlike anything I had played before. And it just felt kind of strange and not familiar. So I let that one slide, then I tried the American Vintage series and I was like, okay, this neck is kind of flimsy and the sound is kind of thin and wow man, it just feels strange to me. So I played a Mexican telly and I was like, why is this heavier than my Les Paul? So then I played a Squire and I was like, mm, just not good. Okay, what other stuff is out there? So I played a hard Telecaster, which is a brand based in the Netherlands. Kind of like that, but also felt kind of stiff to me. And I was like, maybe this just isn't for me. Maybe Telecasters and I, maybe we just don't gel. Maybe that's just something that just keeps us from having a good connection. Me, Joey, and the guitar of the Telecaster, maybe we just can be friends. forward one year later in 2019, I happened to be in the same room with a friend of mine that is also a left hand guitar player and he has gorgeous guitars. Huge collection, different brands and at the time had around five or six or seven different tellies there. And as I go through all the telecasters that he has, some sound cool, some sound not so cool, I finally get to this one. And this guitar, right off the bat, did something with me that I cannot really explain, and I don't even know if you could measure it or anything like that, but it just 
felt right. Even before strumming a first chord, this thing kind of felt right in my hands. It has the right weight. It definitely helps that it's kind of relic because I like that kind of feel when it's kind of broken in. But it also just felt right. I can't explain it any other way. So I keep playing this thing for like 15 minutes and I'm 100% sure, okay, this is the telly. This is the thing I've been looking for. This is what a telly should sound like in my head. How do I get this telly now? The issue was, as it is so often the case, my friend didn't want to sell that guitar. So I said, okay, if you ever want to sell that guitar, give me a call first. I want to have it. This is, this is the kind of telly that I was looking for. This is really it. And he was fine with that. And about two years later, in 2021, I guess it was, he finally reached out to me and said, hey, I'm going to sell that guitar. And I remember I was sitting on my couch when I got that text message and I'm like, dude, yeah, I'm taking it. I'm PayPal right now. What do you need? So this is how I got this telly. But I didn't really realize how special it sounded to other people as well until some of my Instagram videos went viral. And the only thing that most of my videos had in common was they were mostly played with this guitar. And you could see it in the comments as well because a lot of people said this sounds really special. So I get a million questions about pickups, neck shapes, string gauge, fret wire, whatever you have. I get all these different questions and I can't even keep up with them. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to now go through the floor shop traveler that I have over there in the original case. So let's go through it. So I got the case right here for you fellas. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so... So I just kept this guitar as it was. My buddy sold it to me, I guess, as it was. So I never really looked at the case. I did look at the floor shop traveler once, but what else is in here? Let's see, can you see this? Original Fender custom shop strap, very important. Oh, what's this? Okay, what even is this? Oh, these are the old saddles. I think these saddles came originally, so the tally isn't technically stock then. Because these, these saddles, I covered this in another video, but these saddles are the vintage correct saddles. They don't have any grooves in it, so you can't properly keep the tally in tune. Because what's on that tally right now are actually compensated saddles. So he must have changed that for compensated sounds for better intonation. Makes a lot of sense if you ask me because big fan of good intonation. But okay, now that we got that, let's get to the floor shop traveler. There we go. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so I apologize in advance if I get any of this wrong because I'm not the biggest nerd when it comes to these kinds of specifications. Here, here's the spec. So it says bodywood, ash. Okay, that's not that surprising for a custom shop Telecaster 52. It's a 52, it's two piece. Okay, so neck pickup, twisted Tele neck relic. Whatever that means, I don't know if that's considered a good pickup or bad pickup in the world of pickups and internet forums and all that stuff. But it's certainly good enough for me, so I'm happy, that's okay. Middle pickup, none. Duh. Bridge pickup, Broadcaster Bridge Relic. Broadcaster. Is that really the name of the bridge pickup? It's certainly a good sounding pickup because it's really, really thick sounding. I like that. Neck finish, nitro lacquer, which is kind of untrue because my neck doesn't have a lot of lacquer on the back. They relicked it off, so to say. I like that feeling though. I like when a neck is kind of unfinished or feels broken in. That's my kind of feeling. Fret wire, mega important. 
Uh, medium jumbo. That's what I like because I'm the kind of guy who does a lot of big bends. So if you like big bends, this channel is for you. <laughs> and if you like to play big bends, medium jumbos, at least medium jumbos are for you, if not jumbos. Hard to intonate jumbos though, that's, that's the flip side. Fretboard radius, 9.5. That is also kind of important if you want to play big bends. I really like that feeling. Can't stand small frets and the seven inch radius or whatever it is. And the next shape is the 60s style oval C. So it's probably a pretty standard Custom Shop 52 Telecaster after all, I'm not sure. Okay, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that is the guitar for you. Okay, now so you know the story, you also know the specs. You've heard that tally a couple times. You can check out that tally in other videos on my channel too. But here's what I'm thinking. A guitar that I once labeled not for me has now become one of my absolute staples. I use that guitar everywhere and on anything. What do you think? Is it sounding special? Is it sounding like every other telly to you? What are the kind of guitar types that you don't gel with? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.